falling off the ledge there really tripped me up. Imagine if they did a show about Luke after the events of... Man, anything with Luke is amazing, as long as it's not Episode Eight, Luke. I think we can all agree to that. What did you guys think of the uh, CGI Luke from Mandalorian? Like, I thought it looked like Luke, but it, something about it just seemed kind of lifeless to me. I don't know. He was just kind of a... He had a very bland expression. I just feel like Disney Star Wars could have made Luke look a little more Luke. So I, I'm just being picky, but I'm... I don't know. He just... I mean, they were trying to show that he was, like, calm and wise and stuff like that. Like, I get it. I get it. I'm not upset with it. I just think it could have been done. Better. Yeah. I mean, it, it was very emotional. Like, I w Okay. My favorite part was before he took his hood off. Because I think once he took his hood off, I was like, okay, this is Luke. This is how Luke looks now. But when his hood was on... I was more, like, emotional because, like, I was imagining Luke from Episode 6, you know? I was letting my mind carry out the legacy of, of how I'd always imagined Luke. And then when they took the hood off, my brain started, like, analyzing and going, like, oh yeah, CGI, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I love how the enemy, they spawn in in a T-pose. <laughs> that, that will never not be funny to me. I think the Kenobi show is gonna make me much more emotional. Yep, yep, there's a, a million, million and one things I could say about Luke from Episode 8, man. Yeah, you know what, I don't really have huge expectations for Luke in the Star Wars universe, because we already have the original trilogy, and that's that's good enough for me. And, I mean, Episode 8 was a massive bummer. I mean, massive bummer. But, they kind of redeemed him in Mandalorian, and the fans finally got what they wanted, an epic fight scene of Luke acting like a Jedi Master, like, I don't know, that kind of, it made me less sour, so... The wound hasn't healed, but at least there's there's a band-aid on it now. You should make a video on episode 8, Luke. You know, I, I've i really thought about it, and if I'd made my channel closer to when episode 8 came out, I probably would have, but uh, it's been done a thousand times by everybody, you know, and I, it'd be like beating a dead horse. Like, everyone knows why episode 8, Luke, didn't work. Everyone knows why it was not in his character to act that way, you know, like it's been said before. And I, I don't think I'm really adding any value to the Star Wars community by talking more about Luke. Like we all kind of know why he sucked. He didn't even act like Luke, like he was a completely different person. <laughs> completely. Maybe I'll just kind of clip together a bunch of like, because a lot of people talked about Episode 8 Luke, because a lot of people are still upset about it. And I understand, and I get it, and I feel the pain as well. And I would have almost been okay with Luke being the salty old hermit that he was if we had got... If, if, if Luke had gotten, like, a really cool death scene, or if he had gotten, like... If his final fight with Kylo was, like, a balls-to-the-wall crazy action, Luke's busting out force abilities none of us had ever seen before, like, we, we see Luke with the power that we all... Oh my gosh. We see Luke with the power that we always thought that he had... Then I maybe would have been okay, because then, like, okay, he's he's bitter and salty, but, like, hey, at least he's, like, super powerful. <laughs> he's a, At least that part of him matches what I think, you know? One element of Luke Skywalker fit the bill. Instead, he didn't do anything. He just kind of, he was a hologram. Wow, very cool. What do you think Luke would have been able to do? Like, when all those, uh... AT, uh, at ats were blasting him. What were you expecting to happen? Did you think he was going to block all the shots? Like, I personally thought he was going to, like, absorb them all and launch them back at them or something like that. I mean, it was cool that, like, he just stood there and brushed off his shoulders, but, like, that just told us that he was strong, but we didn't, like, there was no video proof of it. Like, we don't know what he did. Yeah, the force projection was lame. I'm sorry, it was it was fucking lame. That's like a cool trick to bust out, like, sure, it was a distraction, right? That made sense, but like, pull out your cool distraction move at like halfway through the movie and like show us your actual cool power at the end where there's like a physical Luke in person. That's why I felt like such a slap to the face too, you know, because it wasn't even Luke in person. Like we got a projection, like we didn't even get to see him at full power. We got to see this like Naruto-ass shadow clone like, operate at half power, and then Luke just dies by himself. And, like, it was a super emotion emotional scene when Luke died, like, with the with the Binary Sons music, and it was very sad. I was very sad to see it happen, but, like, 
me being sad to see Luke die wasn't related to like the character or what happened. It was just like I was sad because Luke Skywalker died. Like that was it. Like it wasn't good writing or like really? you could argue it was the music, but like I was just sad to see Luke die. It had nothing to do with how his character was written. Damn, this is why I don't talk about the sequel trilogies that much on streams, because I, it's very easy to get bitter. 